Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing good. So in today's video what I'll be discussing is the syllabus for Cambridge O level mathematics. Now as you can see this syllabus is specifically for exams to be held in 2022, 2023 and 2024. Now the first thing what we are gonna do is we are gonna have a quick look at how the papers work, how many papers you are going to attempt and the main differences between the two papers. Uh, we are gonna have a quick look at the syllabus later on but first we are gonna just have a brief discussion over the main differences between the two papers and how they work and how many weightage they carry. So here it is. As you can see there are two papers. The main difference between the two papers is that in the first paper you are not allowed the use of a calculator. This paper relatively tests your basic mathematics skills, the things which you learned at a very early level at your education. This paper requires you to show all the working, all the steps, you're not just gonna think in your mind and just write the answer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna show every working, every step, each of them carries marks and this is the kind of paper which makes your chances of scoring a better grade immensely high. Now coming to paper 2. This paper is comparatively much difficult than the first paper. Even though calculators allowed but this paper contains a lot of structured and technical questions and which requires a lot of practice. Although you should work hard on both of the papers but in my personal opinion your practice for the first paper should be ample enough because this is the area where you'll get a lot of easy marks but because of uh, the assumption that some topics are not tested and easier students often take this paper lightly and because of this they are not able to improve their grade where in fact this paper is an easy opportunity for you to overall secure a better grade in case even if you find the second paper difficult you'll be able to land a better grade if you focus on the first paper so with that done now let's have a quick look at the syllabus the syllabus contains a lot of topics as you just saw earlier like around 42 topics but for your information not all 42 topics will be tested individually what usually happens is that the examiner combines a number of topics for example numbers with square roots directed numbers ordering and makes one single question which tests a multiple of concepts i'm gonna put a link to the syllabus in the video below the syllabus is extremely important because it tells you how your preparation should be use this syllabus every time you're starting a topic and focus on what the examiner is asking you and what you are you should be able to understand after you finish a certain topic as you can see with every topic there is a brief description next to it regarding the things which you should be able to know and which you should prioritize on and like i said earlier in the video that not every topic is going to be tested some of them will be combined like percentage like ratio they're going to be combined in a single question to test your understanding but of course there are also topics which are gonna be tested in only a single question like for example there's matrices, there's transformations, there's mensuration, vectors because they alone themselves have a lot of content so you're gonna have to put aside some time to concentrate on these topics and by focusing on these topics you'll be able to have a better chance at attempting the second paper. So that is all from our syllabus coverage. In the next video, I'm going to be discussing some random papers and we're gonna be checking how some of these topics are tested. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.